one, thanks. How much is that? It's $2, man. New York might just be the fast food capital of the world, but you don't have to survive on junk. Hidden deep in the heart of this manic city, it's a surprising alternative to bagels and burgers. Central Park, for both New Yorkers and tourists, is the calm amongst the storm. You have lush, peaceful greenery for miles and miles, but few people would know that there's actually enough food here to keep you from ever having to go to a grocery store again. All you need is the right guy to show you. And of course, we found him. You see, a few years ago, native New Yorker Steve Brill discovered a group of Greek women fossicking for wild foods in the park. That got him to thinking. Steve added wild man to his name and quickly got stuck into natural nourishment. I worked as a parks naturalist for four years. And that was These days, wild man leads wild food tours for school groups and holiday makers right through Central Park. Now, what have you found here? We have mulberries, but, but, pink mulberries. But they're white. It's a cross between American red and Asian pink ones. Oh, they're good. Yeah, they're related they're to pigs. They're really pigs. tasty. OK, so mulberries are tasty, yeah. but not the most exotic find. OK, we have one of my favourites. See, that to me is grass. It's grass, isn't it? So you eat a bunch of these leaves, chew them for a while, mm -hmm. and tell me what flavor you get. It's oh. called poor man's pepper. Tastes like wasabi. Oh, my goodness. It's really good. That's I tell, got some bite to it. I you could kids, call this man eccentric, but you have to take your hat off to a guy who can get children to eat their greens. Here, try this. Let me know what you think. And what do you think? Really spicy. It's got some zing to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Nothing raises an eyebrow in Central Park, even wild man and meat, chowing down on the environment. Uh, do you love animals? Absolutely. Okay, please don't look. I'm going to pull out a cattail. A what? A cattail. And let's see. Get this out. I'm not eating that. It looks like a leek. What vegetable does it taste like? Something very familiar and having salads. Starts with a C. It's cucumber? Yes. There are very few things in the park that wild man won't eat, which kind of makes me glad he's a vegetarian. Hey, just for the sake of the ducks, the squirrels, and the occasional turtles. But if it's green, it's fair game, even no if it's poisonous. Hey, check out this vine on the tree. This is poison ivy. Some people take the smallest leaves in the springtime well, eat it. with the tiniest amount of poison in it, and they'll eat one the first day and two the second day and three the third day to become immune to it. And it sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't. Don't when try it, that at home. When it doesn't work, you get a terrible rash where it enters the body and a much worse rash where it exits the body on the other end. Trust us on the poison ivy. New York, New York, so good they named it twice. Wild man Steve Brill gives tours of Central Park and New York for a suggested donation of $13 per person. Flight Center has return economy airfares to New York starting at $1,414 per person and that includes tax. After the break, what's the story with Brizzy's newest tourist attraction?